Hi, I'm James with RenergyCafe.com, and thanks for stopping by our Learning Center. We're going to be talking about multi-plate electrolysis. Uh, last, the last video I talked about dual plate. There's just two plate electrolysis, and we're going to throw a few more in there. Now, the design that I'm using is one that I got uh, from Smax Booster, and I have it in my cafe discussions as a hydrogen booster. So I actually have the plans for that there. So this is going to be something very similar to that. And for obvious reasons, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's applicable. You can take this knowledge and apply it. So, let's go ahead, put a positive on this side, negative on this side. We're dealing with 12 volts DC. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to put this one, uh, a one plate down in the water, and we put our positive in the water as well. Now the difference here is that we're going to go ahead and put a second plate over here and we're going to connect it. Now, and uh, let's go ahead and throw a few plates in the middle. All right. So now we have a few plates in the middle. We have a positive right in the middle and our negative running on either side. Now none of these plates are electrically connected, with the exception of this one to this one. Those are the only ones. And then your positives in the middle. But these do not touch any of them. The uh, the current flows through the water through your electrolyte if you have some in the water to increase your, uh, your electrolysis. So, that's how that works. This is going to do a couple things. Uh, for one, it's going to increase your current. And two, it's going to increase your hydrogen production. So use extra caution because you'll have an increase in hydrogen production. Now, the other thing, your current, I told you I was going to tell you how to put an amp meter in phase here, in, in, uh, in series with your projects, your Smax Booster, whatever it is you're working on. And it's very simple, you just hook one terminal up to uh, one end coming out of your positive or negative, and then right on the other end, you connect it up, and uh, it's, it's that simple, very, very easy. The one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to connect the negative and the positive with your uh, amp meter. It's, your amp's going to go crazy, and there's a very good chance you're going to damage your amp meter. Now, something you want to think about here is that with a 12 or 10 gauge wire, which is chances are you're using that or something smaller, you don't want to go too high as far as amps. Uh, 20, 30, you're going to be getting into a danger zone depending on the size. 20 may be too much if you're working with something like 14 or 16 gauge wire. So really be careful with that. You're going to want to get an amp meter before you start playing around too much. Now, another thing that you're going to want to consider when it comes to the amount of amperage that you're going to allow to go through your circuit is what you're actually going to be able to use with your final application of this project. If you plan on putting it in a vehicle, your alternator in your car is probably only going to allow you to have somewhere between 10 and 15 additional amps. Now, you can buy aftermarket alternators for your vehicle, but generally, you're going to have that 10 to 15 amp range. So, even if you're doing 12 volts DC and you have some huge gauge wire and you're able to juice this up to 30 or 40 amps, it still isn't applicable. You won't be able to take it to the next step. So your, your output is uh, it's going to be a false reading for the application that you have. So that's just one thing for you to think about. But this is multiplayer electrolysis. It's pretty simple stuff. I encourage you to check out my hydrogen, uh, my hydrogen booster plans there. It's a huge article. Uh, in fact, it even gets into um, as far as your EFIEE, which is electronic fuel control. If your car has a computer, which most do these days, how to overcome that. Um, by using your, by overcoming your O2 sensor outputs. So, check it out, um, and uh, I'll go ahead and see you on our next discussion here.